Penny Smith impressed her way to receiving a BAFTA Craft Award nomination with the comical yet chilling makeup a design she created for the TV series Psychoville. Her unique craft has previously been seen in Sweeney Todd, Shiner and East is East. I trained with two of the big film boys who were absolutely brilliant. Um, and I trained about three, three and a half years, four years. And uh, I didn't quite know which direction I wanted to go to yeah. in. It's, it's just luck. Wherever you're uh, pushed, you, you take that um, risk or you, you know, I was just lucky. I, I had some very interesting work to begin with. Mm. And uh, I, I was pushed into um, designing very quickly. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but it just happened to me. Um, and what about a mentor for you? Did you? Was there anyone in particular? Tom that... Smith was my mentor. And he was brilliant. He did Gandhi. We've got a great clip here of Penny. This is just bonkers from Psychoville. And here it is. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So, who's expecting you at this party then? Is it just family? I don't know half for myself, just various uncles. There's a lot of them coming in from Penn's aunt, especially the Adams family, apparently. Oh, I'm not sure I'll be able to tell the difference. You all right, David? You look a bit green. Yeah. Can you stop the car? I want to use that phone box. Why, do you need a wee? I tell Uncle Peter we're going to be late. No, I can't stop the car just yet. Stop the car now! Come on, Mum, you too! I'm not getting out, I'm settled here. Mum! Yes, police, please. So my David is the stamp or slash, you think? Well, I never. This goes to show. You never really know what you've got under your roof, do you? You really should have let me go. <laughs> How do you start with something like this? It's the crazy minds of these creators, but it, you're so involved in it. It's a very strong collaboration mm. because uh, the two lead actors who you see here have written this. So you've got to get into their minds, which isn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> or pleasant, I imagine. No, and, and, <laughs> no, and you sometimes you just think, my God, how did they think of that? Um, but it's, it's a huge collaboration and we had at least five or six weeks discussing it mm -hmm. and working out how we were going to create these people. And of course they have strong ideas because they've written it, but I found also that I had my way as well. <laughs> Reese had this idea of uh, the mother um, being um, slightly uh, crazy and I just wanted to play it down a bit because I think it's funnier but mm -hmm. we, we came together and what I I mean I don't know what age we haven't discussed exactly what age she's meant to be could be anything from 68 to 70 odd but I thought well if um, if we do a sort of that sort of nicotine coloured hair that women sometimes have at that age because they tint it themselves and then it fades. And it's the sort of hairstyle that she would lacquer to death and go to sleep in and, and yeah. wake up the next morning with <laughs> exactly the same look. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, also the ageing, um, because we 
we didn't have the budget, I put uh, as few pieces as possible, mm -hmm. then the, the rest of it's trick makeup. And with, with David's look, um, Steve actually let me have my own way with that because he wasn't quite sure mm -hmm. where he was going to go with the character. But he loves teeth, so most of his characters have got these different false teeth. <laughs> with restrictions with budget, though, in terms of, of creating that you know, that transformation of Maureen into the werewolf. It's, it's possible, but it's very hard work. The less budget you have, the more imagination you've got to use. And also the time factor matters. So what we did, we created Maureen, um, and then we took a cast of Maureen's face. We had to work on her or him, turn him into Maureen, then take a cast of the face with the pieces and, and the wrinkles and all that. And then with silicone, and then we, we made this, it's like a glove puppet of silicone from the cast. And once we'd made that, we transferred all Maureen's makeup and wig onto the puppet and that prosthetic puppet is just worked with a hand um, and pushing the snout out because um, and that was quite difficult we had to do it uh, several times but it, it just shows you don't have to have thousands of pounds to create an effect you can do it with imagination how does things like um, HD affect you know does it does it do you have to approach things with that in mind, you know, when so yes. much more is...? Yes. It's HD is, is quite tricky um, to work with something like that because, every, as you know, every little crack that's in the wrong place will show. Um, so, you know, you, you sort of rely on your D, DOP, but you've also got to watch constantly. Francis, who shot this, his lighting is amazing. So I have full trust in him, but I, he also says to me, you have to keep an eye on everything. And um, so I'm standing at the monitor <laughs> 12 hours a day.